Welcome back. This is Bhavani Kola. In today's session, you will be learning how to split a browser into. Keep in mind, you're not splitting your window or your screen. You're splitting your browser. Something like this. So here I'm on my browser with one click. I have an option to choose another browser within that browser. So here I see two browsers in one. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I'm on my Edge browser to go ahead and use the split screen, split window option, which is all the way on the top here. You have to be in your Edge browser. This is only possible with Microsoft Edge. Once you're here, let me go ahead and show you how to enable this feature. So I'm going to go ahead and click a new window and I'm going to type in edge.flags. I will leave this in the description box below. Once you're here, go ahead and click enter. And here I'm searching for split screen. And as soon as I type split here, I have split screen option. Go ahead, make sure you enable it. And once you click enable, it is going to ask you to restart your Edge browser. Go ahead and do that. And as soon as you do that, you will see the split window option all the way on the top here. But just in case you don't see that, click on your three ellipses, scroll all the way down to your settings option. Click on your appearance, scroll all the way down. And here you have an option split screen button and make sure this is turned on. Once all that is said and done, let's go ahead and split our windows. To split your window, all you have to do is click on this split window option. And here it's going to give you what window do you want to see parallelly with the one that you have open. I'm going to go ahead and click gap, sorry, gap minder. And here I have it. So I have two windows in one browser. So I'm not splitting my screen. I'm not using multiple apps here. It's just one browser and I have two browsers in one browser. This could be a blessing when you are trying to read articles that have links and you want to open the links parallelly to the other one. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let me go ahead and pause here for a second. So here I'm on my gap minder. I'm going to go ahead and split my screen. And instead of opening or choosing from the windows that I have open, I'm going to click on new tab. And once I'm here, let's just say I am browsing this web page and here is a link. And I want to open this parallelly while I'm on this web page. All I have to do is click on this little option here. And here you have an option to open the link in the current tab or open the link from left to right. So let me go ahead and check this option. And here, when I click, as you can see, I'm still on the same web page, but the link opens up on the other page. And here I can parallelly be reading this one while accessing the links if I'm reading an article. This could be nice if you're doing a research and you have multiple links in that research article. So let's go ahead and click on global warming. And here I'm on the same page and here is the global warming quiz. Let's go ahead and click on plastics in ocean. And here I have plastics in ocean right here. So I have the same browser, but the links also open up in the same browser. So it's parallel to one another. This could be a cool feature again when you're reading articles, when you're doing a research. And here when you hover over your split window, you have all these options. Of course, the cross sign is to close your window. And when you click on this little switch between link tabs, you have an option to open the link in the current tab. That is, let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to click on this one. And now when I click on domestic work, as you can see, the link opens in the current tab. So let me go back. And once I click here, I have an option for the link to open in the tab from left to right. That is in the right tab. So when I click on global warming, as you can see, a tab opens in the right. So that's one option. And when I hover over more options, I have an option to open the screen in a new tab or view split screens in two tabs. So when I click on view split screens in two tabs, as you can see, a new tab opens up in the left hand side. So that's a cool feature of how to split your screens in Microsoft Edge browser. You have an option to pick from the ones that are opened up or you have an option to completely open a new tab. Now, how many ways can I use it? One, it can be used when I'm reading articles that have multiple links or if I'm trying to browse two different web pages in one. But honestly, they do have this sidebar option where I can click on YouTube here and another 
tab opens up. So I really don't know what was in the back end when they were trying to create this split window because the sidebar kind of does the same function as the split window here. So I can add multiple tabs and I can use the sidebar to go ahead and open up. So let me close this sidebar. Let me close this one here. And now you even have an option to change the width of these split windows. That all That's also a cool thing. So maybe if you will want to have something as a reference and then you open up something, you have an option to change the width of these screens. And once you're done, all you have to do is simply click on this close option and you're back to that window. I hope you enjoyed this quick session on how to split your screen, split your browser, split your window. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know educators sometimes only have one screen and they want to multitask in that one browser. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Canvas, PowerPoint, and technology playlists. Do not forget to check them out and leave a comment in the comment section below. What videos would you like me to make? Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.